Not So Hot Show. Hi guys, welcome to Not So Hot Show. Today we have a different setup as you can see. Um, I'm in Da Nang, Vietnam because I'm trying to escape the whole Christmas winter stuff. I'm just like not really big fan of it. I'm gonna come back for New Year's because New Year's is my kind of holiday. Anyway, so I wanted to quickly comment on Meghan Markle Omitskobi situation. Yes, I called it a situation. I'm not gonna talk about how it happened. I mean, it, it's been covered millions and millions of times. What I wanna discuss is sometimes I'm on like debating if it is indeed true that she's this evil calculating person. That's why I'm like always on this edge. Like maybe she is as terrible as she is, or maybe she's not as evil as she seems maybe she just started on the wrong foot and now people are picking apart everything that she does which is true which is like kind of unfair we always discuss literally to the shit she wears because now she said like she doesn't like beige and shit like that and now we see that she wears beige all the time if she smiles too harsh or she like goes in front of harry which is she's the beard she's the beard so you know i thought maybe this is all an exaggeration you know what i mean and maybe she's not as bad but to my confirmation i wasn't crazy i think she is a calculative terrible human being not terrible fine she's a not a good person let's say but 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 this omit kobe's situation with leaking of the names proved to me that she's indeed not a saint who's out there to get anyone who stands in her way the infamous Oprah interview where she said there were conversations and concerns about the skin color of the baby alluding to the fact that you know it can be anyone in a senior royal family but I'm not gonna say who it is because it's damaging but she wanted to protect that person but she just heard about it and she wants to like raise the issue let's play the devil's advocate right are the lights flickering in the back does it does it drive you insane I mean I can turn them off wait because they kind of flicker in the camera. Let me figure out how to turn it off. Kind of gives a nice contrast. But on the other side of the argument, she especially didn't name the names so that everyone in the royal family is suspected to be a racist, right? Uh, years pass by, they throw some jabs, you know, at the royal family with this whole fucking Netflix soap opera magazine interviews whatever and speaking through the sources whenever there's like the the sources close to the mm -mm -mm, say something it's a direct mouthpiece basically Megan calls to the person gives the message say that and that to that magazine and they do it I mean whenever that's the the, the sources say it's the celebrity themselves basically but she's not a celebrity right is she Years went by, you know, she tried to revive her career. Everybody knows she wants to be an actress again all of a sudden uh, and not just live her chill life. Cause she doesn't have to work like till the day she fucking dies. You know, like they don't have to work. They have enough money. They don't have to like, live in a giant mansion, of course. And the security, everything that adds up, but they can downsize. You need like what, four bedrooms? That's it. Like that's, you don't need that much, you know, but they probably have like 10 bedroom apartment. I digress. So what proved for me that she's actually evil when the names came out, however it came out that it was either Megan who told Omitskobi to do that or Omitskobi did it himself, especially to bring the sales up again or somehow translator was like, damn, those empty spaces, I translated as two names. That's the Dutch version, you know, Dutch, Dutch people speak like, <laughs> and then in English it's Prince Charles and Princess Catherine, you know, yeah. The nail in the coffin was when they did not say anything when the names came out. They didn't say anything. It's been, what, two, three weeks now? I waited especially. They didn't say shit. They especially keeping it silent so that... And they're like, yeah, they are racist. Oh my God, we know the names now. And if Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are not denying that, the silence is the confirmation. In Russian, there's a saying, Malchanya, which means silence is a sign of basically agreeing, right? Because these two motherfuckers speak a lot. They go to these fucking charity events. They speak a lot through their sources. You know, the, the, the source claims in that magazine, in that newspaper, and all of a sudden they're silent. And then she's taking a pap stroll in a parking lot before this like royal event of Princess Catherine. So that's what proved to me that they are actually 
evil and out there to get the royal family. I don't understand their battle that they're taking against the royal family. Let's say that they have this ideology, they're trying to fight against the royal family, then make it clear. Cause you're like kind of leaving yourself, you know, you wanna, you left yourself the royal family, but then at the same time, you're like throwing jabs at them. So it has to be either or, you can say we left because they were racist, because there's so many issues. We left and we're going to speak about it until the day we die, until something changes. You can do that part. But you were like, no, we want to do our own shit. We want to do our own whatever. We are leaving that behind. We just want to be left alone. We want to move to Canada. Sure, then Los Angeles, California. But you're still throwing jabs at royal family. So like, it's, what is it? Like, there's a clear stance and like, you cannot let it go. Like you either let it go or you don't, you know what I mean? If you have the, like the angle just to fucking destroy the royal family, then go do it. But don't pretend to be like, no, we don't care. We're just separate now. Fuck you, we're gonna kill you. And then you blame us for like demonizing you? Hunty, you cannot do both at the same time. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry would have been so much more successful. So much more successful. I believed in their popularity and their success. It doesn't matter if they're good people or not. A lot of bad people are famous. It doesn't matter if they have talent or not. Like talent is like a fraction a fraction need to be successful in Hollywood, right? Like there's so many talentless actresses and singers. I can name a few, but you know, I don't want to get killed here. What matters in Hollywood is the fact that you have reach, connections, when you're going to make it, like they were already rich. They don't have to work. They don't have to handle two jobs and then apply for like acting roles, right? Or they, they want to do charity, right? That's what they said. They wanted to do charity. I haven't seen a decent charity they've done. I've seen them taking a bunch of like awards for like being anti-racist. A lot of awards are bought, by the way. Like in order to be nominated and win something, you have to like give money, <laughs> basically. Everything is bought, like in same in Hollywood. Like the Kylie Jenner, her new Kai fashion line, she bought that award. I mean, it, it just came out and she already won an award. I mean, how stupid can you be, right? They can come out and say that they're just being evilized, you know, like that we, we just make them evil, but the reality is there's so many things that don't make sense, right? So they want to do charity, but then she wants to be an actress and she signs with this talent agency. The fact that she invited only Hollywood celebrities to her wedding, that says a lot. When you marry and then you have nobody to invite, you invite your friends. I didn't see her inviting her friends and she's not friends with these Hollywood celebrities. They, they never met her, they don't know her, but she invited them. Why? Because she wanted clout, she wanted connections. She is networking. Girl, girl, do it, but... <sighs> These actions prove that they have an agenda. I don't understand why Meghan Markle cannot let go of this royal family drama. Obviously, it brings her clout, I understand. But if she just moved on, built her own name, and she's not that talentless. I mean, I've seen her. She's like not the best actress, but she is. She can do basic shit, right? This is like a teachable moment for a lot of people. You have to know when it's time to let it go. Like same with Taylor Swift, her fucking Time Magazine interview. She, of course she had to bring up Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, it happened like ages ago. I lost my career, you didn't. <laughs> Your Reputation album like was, was super successful. She's the one who like gave the permission and then she can say, okay, it was edited and it was fake. Well then girl, go sue them. Prove that it's edited and fake, but she didn't, which means it's not fake. Because like the thing is, when you don't let go of something that bothers you, like you can be mad for a certain time and try to fight them, whatever you do, you do. After some point, you're gonna look stupid, you're gonna look vengeful, you're gonna look... It's like, you know, like when your mom has like this feud with some like neighbor or like her friend and then they're not friends anymore and she brings it up every time, the same shit here, you know? If you wanna be vengeful, you have to be smart about it. You have to wait for a long, long, long time. It has to be served cold. You have to know when to strike. Whatever Meghan Markle is doing, it's like just throwing shit out there. And she's just clearly jealous of Catherine. I don't understand why. I mean, like, I'm not, I'm not jealous of Catherine at all. It's not, a, it's not a good life to be queen or the princess. It's like, it's a life of service and duty. It's not fun. You have no freedom. You can't wear whatever you want. You cannot wear fucking shorts. I don't know why she's jealous of that. Like, I'd rather be a Hollywood actress, have fun, go partying, drugs and rock and roll. My biggest problem is that Meghan Markle and Harry thinks that we're like dumb as a rock, that we don't see through their shit. This whole car chase in New York, the, the charity that they do that is not really a charity. Their actual foundation, which is 
turned out to be a scam because there was like this French reporter that went to Archwell and it was an empty office. I, I truly, and again, I said it before, I truly believe they would have been successful if they put actually smart ideas and work into it, you know? At least just work into it. Like they could do a bunch of charity and actually put work into it. They, they could have gone to Africa. We know she didn't want to go to Africa, right? I don't remember where them going there since, since they left the royal family. He's going to shoot his like Netflix documentary about Africa, sure. But she's not going. She wants to be in Montecito. She doesn't want to be in Canada. How obvious can you be, girl? You can be mean, you can be evil, but be smart about it. When you try to be evil and assume that everyone is stupid, that's when you get in trouble, honey. Yeah. So hot show. That's hot. No, it's not. Like literally.